What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today is a day that I and hopefully a lot of you have been waiting for. Finally, we are getting some more Fancy Goldfish back on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. As always, check out those links in the description. Today, as I said, we are finally going to be getting some fancy goldfish for the YouTube channel. Hopefully you saw the last video where we went to this Ranchu Breeders facility, as you can see on the screen now. It is a Japanese Top View Ranchu Breeder and they breed some absolutely stunning fish. They're super hardy from a great bloodline and I thought it would be a perfect combination to add those into the outdoor pond and watch them grow on. So in this video, we are gonna be collecting the brand new fish. If you did watch the last video, you would have seen some of the fish bowled up and some of those I am gonna be taking home today. So I'm gonna go and head out to the breeders now. I'm gonna collect the fish and then I'm gonna get back and I will see you in the garden where we will acclimate them and start to unbag them and then we can finally release them into the pond. One eternity later. Just got back, the ranch you are now acclimating in the pond. They've now been in there for around 15 to 20 minutes so I'm actually gonna head outside now and I'm gonna unbag them straight away and I'll take the camera out so we can have a look at that. There are a couple more ranch you in there than I had purchased because a couple of these are for my friend and I'm gonna be doing some individual videos of each fish and then you will see the six fish that we are keeping. So, and then he's gonna take those away this afternoon. So I'm gonna go outside now, we're gonna unbag the fish and then we can get lots of close-ups and hopefully a few underwater shots as well. As you can see on the screen here, we have the white bowl and this was actually the video that I took whilst I was at the breeder's house because these are the six fish that I have selected to grow on. Now, as I've mentioned previously, they are tosai and when I get them back to mine, there will be two other fish in the bowl as well, which as I mentioned are my friends. I believe we have a really nice mix of colors in here. We've got two solid red fish or orange fish, which show really nice when growth and good body shape. And then we've got four mix of white and red fish that look absolutely stunning and have a really nice pattern to them. So now I've just got the box back from the breeders and I'm just placing it down onto the ground here and then I'm just gonna hold the bag up in front of the camera just to show you guys what the fish look like in the bag. They haven't been in there too long, um, only around an hour or so, so they are pretty active still and nice and healthy. As you can see, they are only very small, really tiny, only around two, maybe two and a half inches in size. The smaller ones, maybe one and a half to two inches. And here I just let them acclimate for a bit but now they've been acclimating for around 25 minutes. So I'm gonna open up the bag and then we can get them in the bowl, have a little close up shot of them, and then we can finally individually video each fish. So then we can keep an eye on their progress and track them throughout the year and the years to come really, to see how they change, develop, if there's any changes to the pattern, the coloration. As these fish were all held in a vat that was out of direct sunlight, they won't be super red in coloration. There will be two in the bowl now, you will be able to see that are red in coloration and these were my friends that were held in a vat that had lots of natural sunlight and you may be able to slightly notice them they are just slightly more red than the other two but overall they're really active and these are really cold fish they're only in around 10 degrees water so they are super active and just shows how hardy and healthy they are first up we've got a lovely fish this was actually one of my favorites and now we've got the orange solid orange one i think this one was probably the best you can see a little bit of black coloration on the tail, but this will go as the water warms up and there's just a bit of pigment really. It's got a superb box shape when and a great body to it. I love this one, it has a really nice pattern and I like the clear and clean head. 
Really nice body shape and a good split tail. However, the tail on this one isn't as splayed as that orange one and also isn't as splayed as the other orange one that will come up on the video. They all generally had really nice bodies. They aren't perfect and they aren't any show winners, but I thought as these were my first Japanese Top View Ranchu, it was good to start with some smaller, slightly cheaper fish that I could grow on and learn about as they grow to see the different quality traits that come from them. Now, obviously I will be adding to this Ranchu collection and we will hopefully introduce a few other bloodlines. Maybe next year we can create our own bloodline and mix a few together and potentially start a breeding program of the, some really hardy, good fish that are absolutely perfect in all weathers outside. So now we are gonna be releasing the fish into the pond. I won't babble on, I'll let the music take over and you can just enjoy the fish for what they are. So that's it, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm super happy, as you can probably see, that we finally got some fancy goldfish on the channel and there will definitely be more fancy goldfish to come. I'm not gonna let you know any secrets, but I can tell you for a fact there will be more fancy goldfish coming. Hopefully you like the new fish and I can't wait to watch them grow up into lovely large ranchu, especially with you guys watching at home. So as always, thank you all for watching. Any comments, drop them down below. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.